creating AI for Unity games was always a bit problematic, since you either had to use a paid asset or create your own custom AI solution. But not anymore, since in Unity 6 we have a new, officially supported and free behavior package. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. We can use this new package to easily add AI to our games. We can define a finite state machine implementation, here for example patrol, chase and attack states, or we can implement the same behavior by creating a behavior tree like AI graph for our enemy NPC. All you need is a Unity 6 project and in the package manager look for behavior package. I already have a zombie NPC and I want to give it some behaviors. It already has enough mesh agent and the animator component and what we need to do is select add component and search for behavior agent component. Next in the project tab right click, select create menu and from it select the behavior and behavior graph and let's call it enemy behavior graph. Just select your NPC and drag the graph to the behavior agent and double click on it to open a graph window. On the left you should have a blackboard where you can add a variable, so for example a list of game objects, I'm going to call it patrol points. In the graph area in the middle you can press spacebar to create patrol node. And if you select the inspector you will be able to read more about this node so it moves the game object if it has a nav mesh agent it is using that if not it is using the transform component of the game object we can also define some parameters of it so for example speed i'm going to set it to one and the animator speed parameter i'm going to set it to just speed we have some variables agent and waypoints we can assign self so this game object as the agent we can also just drag from the blackboard the patrol points to the node itself, so to the waypoints to add it. Lastly, we can decrease the inspector and we have this on start node which has repeat on and we can connect it to our new node by just dragging this arrow and connecting those two. In the hierarchy of our NPC in the inspector, we can see that it has those parameters that we have added to the blackboard. Now the self is just the game object patrol points we need to add manually in this version of the behavior package. I have already prepared four patrol points, so I will just drag them to the list. And in my animator I have the speed component, which directs the blend tree between idle and walk animation. Just press play and you should see your enemy patrolling between those four points. In the graph you can click this debug button and select your character to debug how your enemy a behavior graph is behaving, although it might be more useful when debugging a more complex graph. To create a more complex setup where the enemy can actually detect the player, you can create a custom detector. In my case, I'm just using Physics to the Overlap Circle All Raycast. And inside the graph, you can add to the blackboard an other type. I'm going to just search for the uh, detector. And I have this detector controller. I'm going to call this target detector. Now in the node space you just right click, select create new and select action and we need to give it a name like you would give a name to a new script. I'm going to call this check detector and the category is action, select next and here we are going to describe what we want to do. I'm going to type check if target detector has a target. And now below you should have a list of words and you can convert them to parameters. I want the, detector, uh, the target detector to be of type other. I'm going to type detector. And here is my script, the detector controllers. And I'm going to just select create. And in the graph we should have this new check if target detector has a target node. But also a new script should be created automatically for you by Unity which allows us to define a new action. Now we have a couple of options. We can define our logic in on start or on update. Now we can return status running. We have also a success and we have also failure. At the top, you should see a public variable, blackboard variable detectors controller, the target detector, which is what we have defined in our node. I'm going to use the on start method and I'm going to just return target 
detector.value and I'm going to check for dot uh, current and current target is just a variable from my script and I'm going to just check if this is null and instead of creating an if statement I'm going to just use ternary operator question mark I'm going to re return a status dot failure if this is null we haven't detected anything colon and if this is not null I'm going to just return status dot success and this means that we have a target and the graph can proceed and this is important because I can connect my on start to the check if target detector dragging the target detector from the blackboard to my node but if I now want to perform another action so move NPC to the detector target I can assign self to the NPC and target detector as the detector and I can connect those two nodes creating a sequence which just means that a sequence will proceed with the next child if the previous child has returned success if a child returns failure the sequence is aborted this just means that our check if target detector has a target returns false so it doesn't move to the next node now now the repeat is on so it is repeating this check if i close into the uh, towards the enemy the enemy will be following me because we have the second child of our graph uh, returning true and now enemy is following my player and if you want to create a behavior like type of ai you can use those explicit run in parallel sequence and try in order flow nodes so those violet ones here is an example where i have created patrol chase and attack branches of my behavior tree on the other hand if you prefer a finite state machine implementation where you have this patrol chase and attack explicit states defined you can add to your blackboard a new enumeration create new and you could give it a name so ai states and you can add members so idle add a member chase add patrol and attack just create it which will create a new script defining this enum if you mess up the name we can rename it to state and we can just press spacebar search for switch and you switch node and drag in the state to create this finite state machine like implementation and this should allow you to define specific logic per each state i will leave a link to the documentation of this package for you to read more about it a small tip at the end if you want to repeat some node keep in mind that you can add the repeat node in front of it it can be useful when you run in parallel two branches and one is still running while you want to repeat the other one thanks a lot for watching and thank you to all my patreons who are supporting the channel allowing me to make those videos take care